In the middle of this recession, investment is drying up for startups and that's not really good news for us programmers. However, in blockchain, everything is fine because today a huge investment fund in the US announced that they're going to invest $500 million in the blockchain industry and that's huge. So in this video, I want to explain what it means for us blockchain developers and I also want to explain where does the money come from in blockchain startup. Hey, if you don't know me, I'm Julian and on my channel Eat The Blocks, I teach blockchain development and how to find your first blockchain job. So first, I want to explain the difference between smart money and dumb money. So dumb money is the money that is invested by the average Joe. So we also call these people retail investors and typically they invest their personal savings so they don't use any sophisticated investment techniques. They just wait for the price to go up and they invest and when the price goes down, they sell and usually they make a lot of mistakes. And in general, it's not really a good idea to follow the money. However, I've noticed one thing on my channel is that when the prices of cryptocurrencies goes up, like Bitcoin, Ethereum, I can see that the view of my channel goes up and also I sell more of my blockchain course DAP30 and when the price goes down, of course that's the country, less view and less sales and I can understand this but instead it's way better to follow smart money. So smart money is money that is managed by professionals in finance such as banks, uh, investment funds like the one who just invested 500 million. Uh, professional traders, etc. These people know what they're doing. However, their actions are a little bit less visible to, uh, to the average Joe. But that's why you really have to pay attention when some big investment fund invests a lot of money in an industry like, or to the, like today. So next, I want to tell you a little bit about this company that invests $500 million. So this company is called Andresen and Horowitz. And that's a very famous and prestigious investment fund in Silicon Valley. And one of its co-founders, Mark Andresen, is especially significant for internet because in the 90s, he is the one who created Mosaic. Mosaic was the first web browser. So you can Google it and you'll see some picture that show you some super old uh, UI. That's, it's kind of funny to see this, but you have to realize that at that time, that was absolutely revolutionary. So Mark Andresen created this and he also co-founded Netscape, which won one of the most important company in the, the early days of the internet. And not many people know this, but, but Mark Andresen was also the one who created the concept of a web application. So this idea that an application can be split in two, front end in a browser, back end on a server, and we managed to, to make them communicate with the HTTP protocol. So that seems really natural today, but before application only lived on your desktop, there was no uh, internet or nothing. So he really created this revolutionary concept with many other things like Mosaic, Netscape, etc. So that's someone extremely smart, extremely impactful for internet. And so his investment fund is uh, also very, very uh, significant in the US and in the role of tech in, in general. So they're going to create this investment fund for 500 million and you might say, okay, well, 500 million, yeah, it seems like a lot, but maybe you don't really understand what can be the impact for the blockchain industry, like how many startups it can fund. You need to understand first how investment work with venture capital. So when you have a funder that won't create his startup, there are going to be several investment runs. So first you have what we call the seed run. So the seed run, we are on small sums like maybe $10,000, $20,000, $100,000. The money usually comes from the pocket of the founders or maybe some friend of the founders or some uh, angel investors. But in general, these people are quite willing to take a lot of risk in exchange for a bigger return, of course. Usually founders use this money to create their first prototype and when they are ready, they can move on to what we call the series A, B, C. So these are three other runoff investment that happen in later stages of the company. And this is during this runoff investment that you typically will see VC like Horowitz and Anderson 
So usually at this stage, they invest a couple of hundred thousand dollars to a few million to even a few tens of million if this is uh, a Series C. So this fund of 500 million I mentioned will probably be invested in a few hundred blockchain startups. So that's quite significant. But it actually doesn't stop there because there is a multiplier effect. So as I said before, Anderson and Horowitz is a very prestigious fund in the US. And so when they decide to invest somewhere, it gets noticed. And then you have other investment funds that want to copy them. So we're going to have actually more than 500 millions by can it actually end up being several billions. And so that's a really, really good news for the blockchain industry. So the takeaway of this video is that if you are an aspiring blockchain developer and you've been watching the blockchain industry with interest, but you also have some doubt because of the recession, you're not sure if this industry is going to resist to the recession, well, be aware that this industry will do much better in face of the recession than many other industry. And in particular, thanks to this huge injection of capital from VC, this will go in the bank account of blockchain startup that will use this money to pay blockchain developer well. So this is definitely worth your time to invest your time and energy to learn how to become a blockchain developer. All right, that's it for this video. I'll see you for another video about blockchain. Bye-bye.